so the coaching is a bit different intervention so i'm just being uh, say moderate when i'm saying that it is bit different intervention actually it is a lot different intervention than any other intervention when i say the intervention i mean a developmental intervention right whether it is mentoring whether it is consulting whether it is counseling why it is different because the focus of coaching is not only on solving the problem or achievement of a goal for your client but the focus of coaching is on maximizing your client's potential which is a very different thing means it is something i can say which is little bit similar to positive psychology so it is looking for a bigger picture and in the bigger picture of course definitely you will solve your smaller problem or achieve your goals as well but it is not related to the problem solution only it is not only related to you achieving one specific goal it is you understanding the purpose of your life you understanding your potential and then you taking steps to maximize your potential extract maximum from your potential that is coaching and that is why coaching is the top most andragogies in the world andragogy is how adults learn so the each intervention has its own merit there is a necessity of mentoring there is a necessity of consulting there is a necessity of counseling like that there of course is a necessity of the coaching but the umbrella of coaching is very broad coaching mostly focuses on present situation i am using the word mostly and future so the present and future are the focus areas of a coach when coaching coaching process is a very defined process for example i am a mentor and i had been mentor in my corporate life so when i am a mentor i will mentor mentee based on my experience and my style i will have my own unique style i will have my own unique methodology to mentor the mentee but in coaching the same can't be said a coach has to utilize a defined coaching process the approach can be individualized depending upon your client depending upon the personality and the behavioral pattern of the client depending on the problem goal depending upon the situation you will adapt the delivery you will adapt the approach but the process is same so any one of you once understand the coaching process will be in a position to do effective coaching so it is simple it is not complicated once you understand the process you will utilize that process in each and every of your coaching session by only adapting your style to the client's profile it is the client who sets agenda of coaching and the coaching the beauty of the coaching the usp of the coaching the differentiation of the coaching is in a coaching coach and coachy coach and client means coachy is a client so the client and coachy are the synonymous words so in a coaching coach and coachy are partners coach doesn't sit at a high pedestal coach is not a guru coach is not a mentor of course coach is not a consultant or a counselor but can a single person be the counselor as well as coach as well as consultant as well as mentor yes you can wear different hats but at one time only one hat during the moment during the session if you are doing coaching you will do a coaching session if you are also a counselor and if that particular session or the assignment is of a counseling you will do counseling there so you will wear different hat for example i have four hats i have a hat of a mentor i have a hat of a coach i have a hat of a consultant and i have a hat of a counselor career counselor 
So depending upon the client and depending upon the need, I will first decide whether my client needs mentoring or coaching or consultancy or counseling. And once that agenda is defined, I will wear one particular hat. For example, that hat is of a coach. Then I will do coaching. Then I will follow the ideology of the coaching and the coaching process. And I will be ally of my coachee, ally of my client. That is what coaching is. And why I am giving this detailed information to you? Because many people ask me question. Okay, then if I am a coach, can I do counseling? Of course you can do. But do not mix the ideologies. During the session, during that assignment, either you take the assignment of coaching or you take assignment of counseling or you take assignment of mentoring or consulting. Once you take that assignment, utilize that particular ideology for that particular assignment. Coaching is one of the highest growing professions in the world. This is the growth. Now the second, coaching is one of the highest paid professions in the world. 10 years before, when I was not knowing coaching, I always used to think that investment banking is the highest paid profession. That is what I heard and I uh, had friends abroad working in investment banking and they were earning in millions. But then afterwards I understood that the coaches, of course, means at that particular stature, earn even more than the investment bankers. So if you ask me the top three highest earning professions in the world, so the coaching is one of the top three highest earning professions in the world. Also, it is one of the highest growing professions in the world. And this is the reason why now people are talking about the coaching a lot. In India, it is just, it has just started growing. But abroad, in developed countries, it is already uh, growing for last five to six years. The COVID has now given more importance to the coaching because of the mental wellness because in a coaching you don't have to have a mental problem or some kind of big issue why because only small percentage of the people in the world will have big issue right dementia mental illness right extraordinary depression right there's something which i'm talking which requires a medical treatment or therapy what will be the percentage in the world the percentage will be small, but the percentage of a normal people in the world is always high. So the coaching takes care of this normal highest percentage of population in the world.